Hey guys, it's Lauren here, popping in today to share with you my 2019 Project Life Plan of Action. <laughs> now, I know it's nearly March, but in 2018 was the first year that I decided to commit to Project Life in its entirety and complete a whole year. And I learnt so much about my scrapbooking style and how I needed to sort of reconfigure project life so that I could complete it and not let it overwhelm me in 2019. Now I'm sure that your experienced project lifers out there have probably come through an evolution as the years have gone by on how they make project life work for them. Uh, so just be mindful that in this is my second year of Project Life and so this is the plan I th have come up with to make it hopefully achievable. Now I know, I know it's nearly March and I haven't even really started but it took me a little bit of time to work out what I wanted my 2019 to look like and how I was kind of going to put it all together. So I thought I'd share with you my plan of action. So I've decided this year I'm going 12 by 12 inch. Now last year I did 9 by 12 inch and I used the beautiful Studio Calico albums. But this year I've decided that I'm going to go 12 by 12 and the reason being is that I thought I would have more space on my 4x6 photos to be able to document a bit of journaling without having to use a whole filler card to do that. So I'll have the space to do that as opposed to using smaller 3x4 photos. So that's kind of my thinking. The other thing that I wanted to continue to do, which is what I did last year, was to custom make my um, monthly title cards. So I've done that using the Rona Designs app and I've just picked a font that I wanted for the year and I've just simply made my year's worth of title cards there. Now last year I really decorated these fully but this year I've decided that these will just sit straight into the album like that without any decoration which is time saving. So I've picked a really beautiful font there um, using the Rona Designs app. So. Check that out if you want to custom make some cards. The beautiful thing about this is that as I'm going through the year, I'll also be able to custom make some filler cards with some titles that will incorporate the same font and give that continuity throughout the album. So that's those. I've also decided that I'm going to stick with... Um, you, well, I need to use these up, and I'm committed to that. These wonderful sticker books that American Crafts have created. These um, have oodles of photo, I mean oodles and oodles of stickers and you can pick them up in designers that really resonate with your scrapbooking style. So Maggie Holmes, Jen Hadfield and of course the beautiful Heidi Swap all tick boxes with me. To help with my journaling I'm going to try and stick, you know, to quick um, Obviously meaningful moments, I want, I'm going to try and document stories, but I really want those quick kind of points around what happened, when it was, how I was feeling, what was said, things like that. And I thought these Tim Holtz little sticker books um, are going to be perfect to incorporate a bit of handwriting and some stickers here and there. So I've picked up a few of those. The other thing that I thought I would... Uh, really try and use are my stamps. Now I've been watching a few Project Life, um, you know, experience Project Lifers on YouTube and they really maximise their stamps. So I've been through my stamps and I've pulled out what I think will be useful for me in Project Life this year. So I've got these roller stamps. Um, I'm going to incorporate a few different date stamps I think throughout the year. Last year I used this beautiful L Studio uh, stamp, dated stamp set and I'm going to continue to use that as my main theme throughout the album because I really liked how that looked. But I'm also going to be using these, the Heidi Swap one and the Dear Lizzie one, just to add those little dates sometimes when you need them. I'm also using, I like to write on my photos and 
Um, sometimes with different coloured pens they don't write well on to photos because of the surface, it's shiny and, and the ink just rubs off. So I've come up with a bit of an idea to sort of combat that and that's using just white out uh, paper mate rollers and I just roll on the liquid paper onto my photos that gives me a writable surface and then I can add that journaling there. Um, so I've just pulled out some really cute little ones. This little one's from a Carpe DM one and it's just sort of a little, little general sayings here and now, note to self, high five. Um, this is another one I have, daily notes. The weather is, the itinerary, adventures, let's go. So that's a little adventure one. This is a little Heidi Swap one that came. Remember this, unforgettable, happy days, you are my sunshine. So I had that as well. A Studio Calico, cute little um, travel one there as well. Adventure, go see, do, road trip, things like that. So I thought I'd just have them on hand in a little bowl right near me. And the other stamp sets that I've pulled out is, I'm really lucky I have a beautiful set of the Teresa Collins uh, clear stamps, which Fiskars, um, that Fiskars, uh, I'm not sure how it works, but Teresa designs for Fiskars, I think, that's how it works. So I've got this fabulous little alphabet stamp there, not too bold, it has the centre which is clear, which means that it doesn't sort of take overpower the page, so that's a great little font there. This set here, how cute is this? It's going to be perfect for journaling, little flower clusters and little to-do lists and things like that. This one here is another little good one. It's got the days of the week, you can circle them. Obviously love hearts are always a great one. Document, reality, memo, cute little tabs that you can just add dates or a little bit of journaling really quick and easy. This is nice. I like the butterflies. A great little sort of tag card there and these really useful little stamp sets there. So they're the Teresa Collins ones I have. These are the Heidi Swap ones that I've pulled out. Um, so this is sort of like a stamp set one where you can actually make your round sort of circle. So that's a bit of a fun one, a creative one. This one here, beautiful Heidi handwriting, which we all love, and these floral clusters, which will, um, you know, make for nice little features in the album. Beautiful big title there. This one here, so obviously you can make your own little sort of fancy stamps there, and you've got the dates there as well. And this is a nice sort of adventure one. There, so I've got those. I also picked out of my stash some couple of Kayser Craft ones which I thought were great for Project Life. So the dates, some journaling prompts there, this one's got um, a whole sort of the 30 days there and the January through to December, the dates, some cute little tabs um, and this one here I thought was a lovely fonts. Um, so yeah, so they're my Kayser Craft ones. Um, a uh, scrappy, I'm a scrappy fan of Iggy Doody um, and she's designed these really fabulous sort of um, creative stamps. Here I'm, I'm, I've used these a fair bit so it's hard to see but as you can see she makes these stamps that are just sort of general titles but they've got a sort of a unique way she's put them together which really adds um, quite a feature to your layout. Let me see. doesn't sort of work like that. Life is amazing, best picture ever, wanderlust, life is an adventure, journey today, explore the world, travel on the road, together you and me, this day, happy memories, I want to remember this forever, selfie, taking picture, self-portrait, photography, this moment makes me smile, hello life, here and now. So I, I just love that those couple of stamp sets and know that if I regularly use them throughout my project life, they'll sort of create a theme throughout the year. And just some, oh here's a couple of other little Heidi Swap ones I've pulled out as well. They're really cute. These ones are tiny little words. 
um, to use in those tiny spots. These are a couple of close to my heart stamp sets. A little love, love this heart with a space for journaling. And this one here is a just a little circle that says noted there. So that's really cute and you can add your journaling. So I've popped those in an easy spot to grab there. And I've literally just put them, I don't know if you can see this, I've put them into one of these little letter holders. So they just sort of sit nicely on my desk, easy to grab. And that's what I really want Project Life to be this year. Everything to be really accessible so that when I only get five minutes I can pop in and work on my album just a little bit. I've also fallen in love with the beautiful Sue's Fish printables. Um, and I've got oodles and oodles of Sousa's um, printables there, which are going to I'm going to incorporate throughout my 2019 album. Lots of journaling cards, but this sort of sweet, arty, kind of soft feel about, um, you know, how cute's that? Chin up, buttercup. <laughs> um, cards. So I've cut them out ready to go and they're just sitting close by so I can just grab a quick filler card there and pop it in and I've also um, just every now and then I've been fussy cutting some of her printable embellishments there just to add throughout my album as I go so this is I, I literally fussy cut these while I'm watching TV watching a movie and um, yeah it's they're full of Full of great little, you know, words. Seriously loved. Um, how cute is this tag here? Um, lots and lots of little cute things there that are, I want to sort of carry that theme through my album. So they're the Sue's Fish printables. And then I have managed to find this. I was so excited. The lady in the shop, she just laughed at my face when we worked out what it was going to, you know, what happened. But I found some pens, they're Faber-Castell artist pens and they write directly onto a photo without smudging. So um, now the, like even gloss, high gloss photos, these will still not smudge. So I'll, I'll give you a bit of a, I'll see if I can find a bit of an off cut of a photo. Hang on. and I'll show you. So I've picked up a couple of these. This one here is, it says F there, it doesn't really say the size, it said black 199 and F and this one's an S. So there I think they must be in relation to size. So I'll show you what I mean. This is exciting. All right, look at this, smudge proof. This paper is sort of a semi-gloss matte, so it's, you know, it's like any other pen would just simply like rub off. So this art, these Faber-Castell artist pens, it says here, Indian ink waterproof, maximum light fastness. Um, what else? I thought it said permanent on there as well. Yeah, there it is, permanent as well. So there you go. Um, if you are looking for a pen to write directly onto your photo, then pick up, check out these Faber-Castell uh, artist pens. Now, I picked these up in Officeworks here in Australia. Um, check out this gold. How beautiful is this? I'm hoping my light can let you see that, but it's like a metallic kind of shiny gold. But look at that. Permanent. I was so excited. I freaked out in the shop. <laughs> so there's those. I've grabbed those. So they're going to stay right close by in my stash. Now on to the actual album itself. I was really thinking what I wanted to do that was a little bit different, um, but also... Um, captured my family's experiences throughout the year. So this year I've decided to do a year of predominantly, predominantly, sorry there's my 
tongue tie. Um, predominantly black and white photos with some pops of colour. So here I am, you can see that I've, this is January and I've moved halfway through February. Now I haven't started these, I've just simply put the photos in, had them printed and put the photos in so I don't get too far behind and it becomes stressful before it's even started. Um, so my year is going to be a year of black and white with just some pops of colour throughout the year and I thought it might be just something different. I love black and white photos and so I thought I'm going to give this a go and when I've just put this month together I knew that I had uh, made the right decision because I'm absolutely loving it. So here's January and you can sort of see, I hope you can see this, I hope I'm fitting in my screen here. So here's January. So as you can see, predominantly black and white, pop of colour. Pop of colour, pop of colour, just pop of colour here. Some pages won't have a pop of colour. What I also want to do is just incorporate a couple of 12 by 12 layouts in each month as well. So this, these two layouts I've completed and they're of January moment. So I've just popped those in. They're ready to go. I've got process videos over on my YouTube channel if you want to see how either of these came together. So you can check that out. Um, but once you see pop of colour, so predominantly black and white and some pops of colour. I've just put some ephemera that I've picked up when we went to the Harry Potter uh, show and you can see that I'm just popping a few bits of colour throughout the album. Some pages will just be all black and white but then we'll get a surprise when you turn over and bam you get a pop of colour there. So that's sort of the feel and of how it's going to come together. I'm really happy that I've been able to kind of get my head around this and popped it all together and have been able to see that, yep, this is where I want to go and I feel really confident and happy that I can achieve this way. Um, see here I've put in a 12 by 12 page protector and the photos that I want to do in 12 by 12 layouts. So I've popped those there and then you can see how I've moved me, moving on to February moments there. So there you have it. I hope you like my plan of action. Um, please let me know in the comments if, you've, if you're doing something a little different for your project life in 2019. I'd really love to see, well, I'm still really new to this and I'd really love to see how other people are putting their albums together to give me ideas. And yeah, I hope I've been able to share some ideas if you're kind of struggling to you know, put together your 2019 also. So take care, guys. Bye.